everyone. This is Shirley from Shirley's World. Hi. Uh, I thought I'd do something a little different since it's I've done nothing but being in by the brooder and the chicks. But I will. We can peek peek at them uh, in a little bit. They're out on recess right now. They're out uh, in my bathroom, <clears throat> not in the brooder. So I wanted to show you a couple of things uh, that I have that I really like. Uh, I stopped using peanut butter because of what Dr. Christine Casmor has taught us about peanuts and I now use uh, almond butter. I think this, I just got this at uh, Walmart. Hi Blue Sapphire, thanks for joining. I got this, it's delicious. I'm pretty good. Um, and I like it as much as peanut butter. It tastes almost the same, a little bit different, but it's great and it's good for you. Uh, another thing I just discovered, and I, I don't use coffee creamers. I mean, I use real cream, half and half sometimes. <clears throat> you don't get that brand. Well, any any brand of natural, uh, try to get organic uh any any nut butter except peanuts. Yeah, I know, but these taste almost the same. Peanuts have a uh, a mold on the shell, and it goes in. Oh, you're from India. Ah, oh, thanks for joining me. Uh, I wonder why you don't have uh, almonds or cashew butter or something like that. New Delhi. Uh, hmm. I bet you could find it someplace, maybe. Another thing that I just discovered, uh, I don't use coffee creamers, flavored ones, very often. They do have it here. Good, good. Try it. It's good. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, is I've tried, I just tried this new, it's by Coffee Mate, but it's called Natural Bliss. I am 70, I just turned 74. I'm the oldest one scoping on Periscope. <laughs> Natural Bliss, this is the uh, caramel, salted caramel flavor. It's really good. But the thing about this is, whereas most coffee creamers are all, thanks, it's all, they're all chemicals. This is all natural. The only things in this, it, it, milk and cream of course sugar and natural caramel flavor and some salt so all natural things no chemicals and it's really really good so if you want to have a flavored coffee creamer uh, this would be the more natural way to go yeah and today that made my hands sticky let me I my hand. I must have left some creamer on the outside of this. <clears throat> uh, you know our baby chicks, and I was uh, I was cleaning their water, which is uh, their their little water uh, looks like this. It has the the plastic bottom and the plastic top. Well, when I, this is a new one, but when I went to clean this the one that's in there, it was all slimy inside here, and it's very hard to clean. I think you can put it through the dishwasher, but I, I discovered that a regular mason jar, this is a smaller one, I'm going to get the big quart size, uh, but the regular uh, size opening, not the wide, wide mouth, but the regular mouth, it it screws on here the same so this is much more this is much better because I mean for sure you can stick this in the dishwasher and you can clean it well if I if I uh, get a bunch of uh, quart size and every couple times that I change it I will uh, rinse this out and put it in the dishwasher and then it'll never get uh, slimy because uh, they drink their water pretty fast and I change their water probably 
at least twice a day. So, hi, it's a no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I went out today, even though, and my my knee is much better. Every day it gets better, so I'm actually walking pretty good now. Uh, I went out today and I stopped in Target. Do you have Target in uh, India? Target stores. And I went uh, and I, I wanted to get some sort of a thermos or something that would keep my coffee hot. Uh, my coffee pot goes off in the morning and then I, I have to keep warming up coffee in the microwave if I want another couple cups. Ah, uh, you travel to here once a year? Yeah. Uh, so I bought this, a lad, it's by Aladdin. It's a regular thermos. And this one, you have to read on them. This will keep a hot drink hot for 12 hours. 12 hours. So that's pretty good. I didn't see any, any more than 12 hours. And it'll keep cold drinks even cold, uh, cold even longer than that. But this is what I got. It reminds me of my father's old, old thermos bottle. You can drink from the cap. <clears throat> and if you push this button, you can pour it out from the spout. <clears throat> so I needed something to keep my... I like my coffee hot, really hot. So <clears throat> I was tired of cold coffee. That keeps water in her. Yes, <clears throat> over 20, oh, 20 hours. Uh, I haven't, I didn't see one that kept it hot. Uh, you can get them that keep things cold for that long, but hot is uh, a different story. Yeah. So would you like to go see the baby chicks? <laughs> oh, copper lining. You know, the thermos, thermos bottles used to have glass linings. But I didn't, when I was looking for this, I didn't see any, I didn't see any with the glass lining. They're all uh, stainless steel now, inside, inside and out, so. They're, at least they're not breakable like the old thermoses were. So I'm going to take you off the holder here and we'll go. Copper is good, yes. Yeah, because they do water pipes out of copper. <laughs> okay, we're going to the chicks. I'm going to turn the camera around here. The doggy's here right in the way. Yeah. You can't go to the chicks, Dexter. <clears throat> the chicks are in this bathroom here. So I have to move the chair and move the gate and keep my dog out. My dog's an English pointer, and that means he's a bird dog. <laughs> so we sure don't want him to get in here. So, here they are. We have six baby chicks. And they're usually, this is the brooder that they're usually in uh, most of the day. And, and of course all night, but this is, I let them out to have, to run around and uh, be loose for a couple hours during the day. So here they are. They have their, see this is their water and their, their food. <clears throat> and this is, that's Muffy, that one, the grayish one. I have another bathroom upstairs, so not to worry. <laughs> this is a big uh, two-story farmhouse here that we live in. So uh, today I read the, the lady that has taught me all about chicks. She says that when they're about this age, they're nine, year, nine, nine days old today, nine or ten, ten days old. Um, she brings in clumps of grass and weeds and lets them peck at it because that's exactly what the mother would be doing right now. She'd be taking them outside 
but don't run into the door. Uh, she'd be taking him outside and they'd be uh, following her around, scratching and pecking in the dirt and eating little bugs and grass and weeds. So I brought uh, some clumps of grass in here and they, they were really happy about that. They were so excited when I first brought it in. I also brought in some mealworms, some little mealworms. They're freeze-dried, they're not live, but they were fighting over those. They're really good protein, these little chicks. And they know my voice already. Yeah, so these are my little chicks. They're doing their having their afternoon little recess on the playground. <laughs> They're so cute, so much fun. And they grow so fast, so I'm really enjoying them while they're li real little. So I think I'll uh, close because for me to sit in here, it's about 85, 90 degrees for the chicks in here. It's very hot. Uh, what season is it in India right now? I don't know much about your seasons. <clears throat> I don't know if you're still here, Sapphire. Uh, it's summer, yeah. We're in spring. It's finally having a nice day today. It's not raining. And uh, this it gets really hot in India, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, it can get hot here, too. I mean, hot, to me, hot is 90. Oh, I put them all back. I put them all back in the, uh, like in a couple hours, I'll put them back into the brooder. And I'll take up all the towels, and they get washed. And I dump the seed, uh, their feed, all in a container. And then I sweep up the floor and wash up the floor. And it's ready for tomorrow. So, <laughs> that's how I do it. It's a, it's a whole job. To raise baby chicks. It's so much easier if you had a, a hen to do it for you. If, if you had a mother hen that would go broody right around the time that you want to get chicks and you could just uh, let her raise them and then she does everything. You don't have to do anything. So. This is a little muffy. It's on my foot. <laughs> All right, I'm going to close for now, and I will probably be on tomorrow. So you have a nice day. Bye.